Welcome to Technify.com. Temperature is one of the most important physical quantities to measure. It is used in a wide range of applications, including industrial processes, environmental monitoring, and medical diagnostics. Temperature sensors are devices that measure temperature and convert it into an electrical signal that can be read by a computer or other electronic device. When you see around you, you will be found many of the things that are temperature controlled, like room AC, refrigerator, backing oven, and many more things in industries. Temperature controlling process consists on two parts. Temperature sensor and temperature controller. Temperature sensor measure the temperature and convert it to electrical signal. Controllers read this electrical signal and display the readable temperature value and give output control other components and process. There are many different types of temperature sensors, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. Some of the most common types of temperature sensors will be explained in this video. First up, we have thermocouple. Generating voltage like magic, these sensors are found in industries, automotive, and even in the vastness of aerospace. A thermocouple is a temperature sensor that generates a voltage proportional to the temperature difference between two junctions of different metals. It operates on the principle of the Seebeck effect, discovered by Thomas Johann Seebeck in the 19th century. Thermocouples can be used to measure the temperature range of minus 200 degrees Celsius to plus 1800 degrees Celsius. Seebeck effect is, when two different metals are joined at one end to form a junction, and this junction experiences a temperature difference, it generates a voltage. This voltage is directly proportional to the temperature difference. The generated voltage, also known as the Seebeck voltage, is measured across the open ends of the thermocouple. By calibrating the relationship between the voltage and temperature, the thermocouple provides an accurate temperature reading. There are different types of thermocouples, each made from specific metal combinations. Some common types include type J, type K, and type T, which use different combinations of metals like iron, constantin, nickel, and copper. Thermocouples find widespread use in various industries, including Industrial processes, monitoring and controlling temperatures in manufacturing and chemical processes. Automotive, measuring exhaust gas temperatures in vehicles. Aerospace, used in aviation and space exploration for temperature measurement. HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controlling and monitoring temperatures in climate control systems. Now, meet the RTD, the precision champion. Its correlation of resistance with temperature makes it perfect for laboratories and processes that demand accuracy. RTD stands for Resistance Temperature Detector. It is a type of temperature sensor that measures temperature by correlating the resistance of a metal with temperature changes. RTDs are known for their high accuracy and stability, making them suitable for applications that require precise temperature measurements. The measuring range of an RTD lies between minus 200 degrees Celsius to 500 degrees Celsius. Here's how RTDs work. RTDs are typically made of pure metals, with platinum being a common choice due to its stable and linear resistance temperature relationship. As the temperature changes, the resistance of the metal in the RTD changes proportionally. The RTD is connected to a measuring instrument or circuit that sends a known electrical current through the RTD. The voltage drop across the RTD is then measured, and the resistance temperature relationship is used to calculate the temperature. The most common type, with platinum wire wound into a coil or deposited on a ceramic substrate. Types include PT100, PT500, and PT1000, denoting different resistance values at 0 degrees Celsius. RTD used in scientific research and experiments requiring precise temperature control. Suitable for industries where temperature control is critical, such as chemical processing and manufacturing. It is also found in medical equipment where accurate temperature monitoring is essential. Next, the thermistors, small yet mighty. With significant resistance changes, they find their home in medical devices and climate control systems. A thermistor, short for thermal resistor, is a type of temperature sensor that exhibits a significant change in electrical resistance with a change in temperature. 
Thermistors are known for their sensitivity, making them useful for applications where precise temperature measurements are required. The working temperature range for most thermistors is between 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. The resistance of a thermistor changes dramatically with temperature variations. This property distinguishes thermistors from other temperature sensors like RTDs and thermocouples. Most thermistors fall into two categories, NTC and PTC. NTC thermistors, the resistance decreases as temperature increases. They are commonly used in applications requiring a higher sensitivity to temperature changes. PTC thermistors, the resistance increases with temperature. PTC thermistors are often used in applications like overcurrent protection in electronic circuits. Thermistors are widely used in electronic circuits for temperature sensing and control. They can be incorporated into devices like thermostats to regulate temperature. Thermistors find applications in medical devices, such as temperature probes used in patient monitoring systems. Used in heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC, systems to monitor and regulate temperature. Thermistors play a role in automotive applications, such as measuring engine temperature. And, stepping into the realm of non-contact, we have the infrared sensors. These detect temperature through the emitted infrared radiation, a staple in industries and medical imaging. An infrared temperature sensor, also known as an infrared thermometer or pyrometer, is a device that measures the temperature of an object without making physical contact. It does so by detecting the infrared radiation emitted by the object, which is directly proportional to its temperature. This technology is based on the principles of blackbody radiation and the Stefan Boltzmann law. Industrial IR thermometers, on the contrary, have an extensive temperature range, usually between minus 50 degrees Celsius and 1000 degrees Celsius. Here's how an infrared temperature sensor works. All objects with a temperature above absolute zero emit infrared radiation. The intensity of this radiation is directly related to the object's temperature. The infrared temperature sensor consists of a lens that focuses the infrared radiation onto a detector. The detector converts the infrared radiation into an electrical signal. The electrical signal is then processed by the sensor's electronics, which calculates the temperature of the object based on the intensity of the detected infrared radiation. It is used in industries to monitor and control temperatures in manufacturing processes, such as metal production, glass manufacturing, and ceramics. Infrared thermometers are commonly used in medical settings for non-contact temperature measurements, especially for infants or patients in sensitive conditions. Infrared temperature sensors are employed in the food industry to monitor the temperature of cooking surfaces or verify food temperatures during processing. Infrared temperature sensors are utilized to monitor the temperature of electronic components and prevent overheating. Last and smallest temperature sensor is semiconductor temperature sensor. Semiconductor temperature sensors are typically very small and lightweight, and they have a fast response time. They are also relatively inexpensive to manufacture. Semiconductor temperature sensors are devices that use the temperature-dependent characteristics of semiconductor materials to measure temperature. The most common type of semiconductor temperature sensor is the silicon temperature sensor. Silicon has a predictable and repeatable change in electrical resistance with temperature, making it suitable for temperature sensing applications. These sensors are used in a wide range of applications, including consumer electronics, industrial automation, automotive systems, and more. They are commonly found in temperature control systems, environmental monitoring, and electronic devices. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you to understand temperature sensors and their applications. In next video we will explain temperature controllers connection and configuration. Please subscribe to our channel to get latest videos and notifications. Goodbye.